Three years with uh, uh, One Young World, I had the occasion to meet many incredible people. Uh, you delegates are absolutely fantastic, and, uh, and we've been very lucky to meet some of you. And this morning is my pleasure to introduce to you one more excellent, incredible person who has uh, developed his uh, 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 literacy and learnings into uh, great countries with great schools, but this hasn't prevented him from getting involved and engaged into the importance of literacy for disadvantaged youth. Uh, Steve Mitchellmore from Canada will tell us about a project, Pathways, that he has been involved with and how this can and will change the way that literacy impacts the people of this disadvantaged youth and how can this be uh, uh, grown and exported into a number of uh, models. Steve? Thank you, Elio. Good morning. Let's try it again. Good morning. <laughs> well, uh, I do have some bad news. I'm not a rock star, haven't started a bank, and not president of a country, or have I been? I'm still holding out hope on the whole rock star thing, but uh, I'm still young, so we'll see. But the good news is I do want to expose you to a tremendous program that is having impact on literacy and education across disadvantaged communities in Canada. Literacy is one of the best predictors of future school success, and through improving literacy, we can change the trajectory of so many young people's lives. Now, Pathways to Education is one such program that I feel can have this impact, and I want to share it with you. Their goal is to focus on students from low-income communities, where the dropout rate is in some cases three times higher than the national average. Now, the program's foundation is built off of a contract between students, teachers, and the parents to form a shared responsibility to drive success for students. The program has four key elements, financial, academic, social, and mentoring. Academic support in the form of tutoring after class and core academic subjects, financial support in the form of scholarships and bursaries so that when these kids succeed they have the financial means to pursue post-secondary education. Social support in the form of group mentoring activities to help with problem solving and different problems they're gonna face. And finally, one-on-one -on -one mentoring by staff to help not only with success in the classroom, but also success at home and in the community. Now, the program has a really elegant and comprehensive model, but it's their ability to galvanize the community and work with strategic partners that are already in place to really drive change and get everybody behind because it takes an ecosystem of support to improve literacy in communities. Now the program has had a tremendous impact, in some cases dropping the dropout rate by as much as 70%, going from 50% to as low as 10% in some communities. Now my belief in this program though, it goes beyond just the impact it's been able to have. My grandparents grew up in Northern Canada and they weren't able to get past grade six with their education. My father, although he graduated grade 12, a test showed he was only able to read at a grade six level at the time. Now I too struggled with reading and enunciation when I was young, but the difference was my parents and my community saw that early, and they put me in touch with the support, the one-on-one -on -one help, both in the classroom and outside the classroom with one-on-one -on -one tutoring to make sure I didn't fall behind my fellow classmates. I had access to the same four key elements that the Pathways program provides. But at any step along the journey, if one of those elements wasn't there, I too could have faced the same obstacles that prevented my grandparents and my parents from succeeding. Now my father is now a very successful entrepreneur and I'm extremely proud of him, but it's his story that motivates me to take advantage of every opportunity I've been given. Because who knows with the resources and support that I've been given, if he had it, what he could have accomplished. Now, I, what it also motivates me for is to try to help those less fortunate gain access to the resources and support that I was afforded. And through my employer, the Boston Consulting Group, we've been able to help Pathways by quantifying the social benefit the program has had. Now, what we showed is for every $1 invested in this program, 
$25 comes back to the society at large. And the return is in the form of higher employment, higher tax revenue for that employment, lower costs associated with social programs, improved health, so reduced health care costs for the government. This study showed that the benefits are real, and it's helped them garner both private and public support so they can focus on sustaining and growing the impact they've had in these communities. The program now is in 11 sites and 4,000 students are affected, with plans to grow to 17 sites and 7,000 students in the near future. I want to read to you a message from a recent Pathways graduate that I think perfectly personifies the message. And I quote, Growing up in my community can be challenging. Avoiding the potential influence of drugs and crime. Pathways is like your parents. It can be tough. There are high expectations. And we must always do our very best. In return, we are supported through whatever trials and challenges we face. I think the key message there is support. They feel it. They see it. They believe in it that if they put the time in and the effort and they face those challenges, they're going to be given the support by the community to break through those barriers. I've been a youth coach of basketball and baseball. I've been a mentor. I've been an academic tutor. And I've seen the power that one-on-one -on -one help and mentoring youth can have on their future and their belief. I want to leave my fellow ambassadors with this message, that education and literacy will not improve without an ecosystem of support. I encourage each ambassador passionate about improving literacy to mobilize to action. Two actions to consider when you go back to your communities. One, find ways to mentor youth, either through existing social programs or create your own. Find ways to show people that there's hope. People that they see you were, you were there in their shoes 10, 20 years ago, and look what you've been able to accomplish. That hope and belief is so powerful. So go back, connect with the youth in your communities. The second is find social programs similar to Pathways where you can bring your intellect, your academic backgrounds to really help quantify the benefits that those programs have had to help garner both public and private support so they can focus on really truly having impact and not worrying about mobilizing the funds just to keep their programs going. To improve literacy, there is no silver bullet. Youth today cannot improve literacy on their own, just as my grandparents couldn't, my parents couldn't, and I certainly couldn't. We need to put in place a network that provides social, financial, academic, and mentoring support to unlock the path for success for youth today, because the return is the best investment we can make in our future. Thank you.